In one of the hearings we've had in the last few weeks about military reform, one of the issues that we heard from people testifying was concern about cutbacks to research and development that um, would affect the capacity of our military to have the innovation that it needs to stay ahead of the competition, to stay ahead of um, the national security challenges to the country. And a number of people testifying talked about the <coughs> SBIR program, the Small Business Innovation Research Program, um, and how important that is in developing new technologies. They also talked about the role of small businesses because so much of our innovation comes from small business. And I know that it's been a challenge getting DOD up to the commitment that it has to ensure that a certain percentage of contracts, 5% of its business, go to small businesses. So can each of you talk about the challenges you see to ensuring that we continue to work with small businesses, which are so critical to our defense industrial base in this country, and about what you think we can do to remove some of those obstacles to ensuring that our small businesses are working closely with DOD. And Congressman Murphy, I'll ask you to begin. Thank you, Senator. It's critical. I mean, 98% of the businesses, of the workers in America are in small business. So I, I'm in the private sector now. I work for a national law firm. We cater to small businesses. We, These are small businesses, 16,000 of them that are mostly privately held. Uh, it's critical. Uh, and we need to make sure that when we partner, that they understand what we're trying to do and they understand that they need to be on time and on budget. And a lot of times, because they're so agile and small, they, they are performing, or in many cases, overperforming. So you have my commitment that we continue that focus. Dr. Davidson, are there any specific um, actions that you think can be taken to ensure that we continue this effort in a robust way? Yes, Senator, I, I share your enthusiasm for, the, for this issue and, and I appreciate your leadership. I know that the Navy um, has programs to reach out to small businesses and that they actually have been doing fairly well at that. I think that the challenge that we need to work on going forward is the barriers that we have of small businesses actually trying to work with the government. Sometimes it's so overwhelming for them. Right. And so I look forward, if confirmed, to working with um, the committee to the extent that some of those are legislative, but many, the ones that are policy-oriented, um, the Navy can get on right away. And I would agree the Navy has been very effective, particularly with the SBIR program. Um, Secretary Disbro. Senator, the Air Force also has this as a concern area. We actually exceeded our goal for uh, 2015, for the percentage of obligations that were uh, that went to small businesses, we exceeded by 4% our target for a total of 18%. Uh, we also have a small team that works on uh, the uh, headquarters Air Force staff that does this every day. They work for the undersecretary position if confirmed. I will help guide their and focus them on this critical area. They've developed a great website that gets to what my colleague raised as an issue, which is how do small businesses bring their innovative ideas in and they are able to actually expose uh, what they're doing to um, our team so that we can match them to the right places where we're looking for proposals. Great, thank you all very much.